Welcome everybody to this broadcast of Super Mario Brothers 3 Randomizer Tournament. I'm the Haxer, and today I am joined by It's Paranoia. What's going on, bud? Oh, not much today. So what sort of race are we looking forward to today? Well, so on the left side of the screen, we've got a matchup between Glutamic Acid, who is currently 2-0 in the group, and uh, a guy who is famous for um, losing to Hot Pocket on the Colbert Show. Mitch Flower Power might have heard of him. He's had a few world records, might be the best player ever of this game. Um, on the right side, we've got a man known as the Michael Blue Blay of gaming, and also known for his SMB3 mix dominance, Jabum. And his opponent is the reigning, defending, undisputed Super Mario Brothers 3 randomizer of the world, Macobra 52. So I'm excited for this one, memes aside. Uh, how do you feel about this one? I think we should have a good race today. And uh... Absolutely. So I think all of our runners are ready, and we should be getting started shortly here. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for this one. These are uh, four really good players, so um, I'm expecting a lot of cool things to happen in this one. And it'll be interesting to see who comes out on top. Obviously, uh, the two on the left and the two on the right are racing each other, but it is kind of a fatal four-way going on here. So, either way, this is a good showcase between all these runners. Absolutely. All right, so first level looks like we've got 1-4, with one notable exception. The um, yep. auto-scroll is removed from this level, and uh, I see the seed is starting off very kind with the power-ups by giving them a star. You gotta love it. What's, <laughs> the, longest you, what's the longest you've gotten in the seed without getting an actual power-up? Uh, I think I've gone two entire worlds uh, where I got stars. Uh, I didn't hit every single power block, but you hit most of like the convenient ones, and yeah, it's been like two entire worlds. I also think we should point out uh, what the current flags that we're playing with here is. Don't you? Yeah, that's a great point. Uh, flag ones here, so um, these are going to be vanilla levels uh, corresponding to their number. Um... But obviously the world configuration is going to be modified. We do see some swapping here. There could be a random number of forts in each world. So some level or some worlds might have more or less forts. But otherwise, uh, there are going to be a lot of vanilla things going on here. But, you know, being it is randomizer, there's a lot of randomized stuff too. Such as we see a bunch of enemies that ha have no business being in 1-5 here. Um, yeah. There's I, a saying about this level where, where don't you don't hold trust it, it down. Right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> no matter what you do, do not hold out on going into 1-5. Exactly. Yeah, we see Mitch and uh, Glutamic Acid kind of taking the end uh, pretty safe there. And uh, we see Jabum actually getting the power up and taking a little bit of damage from the Fire Prana. So that's why... You saw the other runners without a power up taking a little safer than that. And we have one two here. Um, and there's Boss Bass. I was about to mention that he could show up in this level. Yeah, pretty much a lot of places he can show up. He, he tends to do it. Um, it's pretty rare for you to not see him at least once in a seed. Usually it's more, but... We have one All three right. here. Yeah, we have one three here. Is that Fire Nipper? Nope. Oh, I think there are going to be Fire Nippers, though, because of this enemy set. Uh, unless they get really lucky. Um, so, yeah, we're going to see Mitch go for the secret item here, and so is Macobra. Um, it's generally a, a good idea to do that kind of early on in the race because you don't have a lot of inventory, so it's good to at least get something going. Do you think our, any of our runners are going to go for the end card today? Uh, I'd imagine they all probably will. Um, I believe they're all end card players. I know Mitch tends to do it unless maybe his opponent doesn't do it. But 
Yeah, we get the uh, vanilla airships here too, but also the auto scroll is removed here. So there's more potential for some peace beating um, that you don't see necessarily in the vanilla game and some of these uh, airship levels in particular. Also, about the only thing that's going to change in these airship levels at the end of the world is the Koopalines themselves. And yeah, by that's a great are... point. They'll either have more HP, or they might be heavier, or they may do, uh... They, they may high, high jump and hit you, even if you're going to hit them on the head. Yeah, our, our Koopalings got their Nikes on. <laughs> so yeah, we see Mitch, Macobra, and Glutamic Acid all completing the world here. Looks like Mitch slightly ahead of uh, Macobra. Um, they're actually not racing each other, but uh, Mitch and Glutamic Ass about the same time. We see Jabum, the first person into the end card here. Um, doesn't get a match, unfortunately, but he'll get some information about what's in some of those squares. So uh, hopefully we'll see some more success the next time he plays it. Mitch Firepower is now in uh, the pyramids. Ooh. All right. We see Macobra taking... I think our first death, unless I missed it, um, of the seed. Kind of an unfortunate level to be small in. There's a lot of kind of bad enemy spawns you can get in this one. So, um, yeah, just unfortunately short hopping the Goomba there. And the Paragoomba getting him too. So, kind of having a rough time here at that level. Looks like Mitch did too. He went from fire to small Mario. So. Uh, it is unfortunate. We do have the pyramid as our second level here in the world. And yeah, d not a great uh, stage. Oh man, that is not the power up you want to see. Okay, see. he's gonna have to wait this out. Because <laughs> you, yeah, because the stage is just, the randomizer has it, so you can at least have Buzzy Beetles guaranteed. But if you kill those Buzzy Beetles, they're not coming back. Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of good to know where the ones are going to be consistent. And, uh, you know, these two up here are always the same as well. So that's kind of nice. You got a, a couple opportunities there if something bad happens. I do enjoy that hammer bro at the end of that level simply because it can be a it, If it's not like a boomerang one, it will high jump and you'll probably get hit if, you're, if you don't remember <laughs> that's that. That's a good point. The standard boot, the standard hammer bro seems to always jump there, so... Um, we see Mitch getting some peace speed in the fortress here. Uh, a lot of times not advised, just because these enemies are kind of random. And you seem to get a lot of hot feet. Um, and they're pretty much the worst enemy you could get in this level. Oh, we see Jab also getting the star, so he's gonna have to wait here as well. Meanwhile, we also are got taking the top every route. Oh yeah, he does the damage boost strat. Yeah, saving a little bit of time there by getting that one cycle. Very nice. Um, we see Glutamic Acid and Macobra basically on the same pace here. Um, looks like both of them choosing to skip the power up block there. Uh, it's sometimes nice to check it if it has a star and allows you to one cycle this section without having a damage boost. We have a second fortress here in this world. So that means the fort, that whatever fort this is, the world that it's taken from will be have will have a world from level two, world two take in there. Yeah, that's a good point. So whatever doesn't appear on the map here will appear in in uh, whatever world that is. Um, so and that world will have one less fort. So. See Mitch equipping a star for these hammer bro fights. When you go in small, it's kind of advised to do this because you, you don't really know what you're getting. And luckily for him, he did it because he got a nice water battle there, which is not what you want to see. And we have... These nippers are one of those worst things for you to see. Because you don't know if they're going to be fire nippers or not. Ooh, and Mitch up. Yeah, that's a good point. You don't really see it until you get up close to them, right? And then they either jump, or if they don't jump, they're shooting fire. So, ooh! 
All right, we see Mitch and Macobra having some trouble with this level here. Uh, meanwhile, Jabum's in the Angry Sun level, which is kind of vanilla here with an Angry Sun in it, so... Nice P-Speed from him. Uh, opting to play the fort, so World 6 Fort 2, so one less fort, and he gets the ideal power up there. Um, isn't going to do the flight because he doesn't feel comfortable with it. And just going to kind of run through normally here, and we see Macobra doing some very nice P-Speed there through this level. There's a lot of potential in this one to have some nice P-Speed, so really cool to see that. Macroba finishes off the fortress. Whoa, did you see that? That Was that Hammer Bro just like floating in midair? Yes, yes it was. <laughs> you know, just, just randomizer things. Yeah, the st standard, standard game mechanics. That's how this game has always worked. <laughs> yeah, you see some weird interactions in randomizer because you're you're getting enemies in places they're normally not supposed to be. So we might see a few things like that. But for the most part, it's actually pretty clean, all things considered. Yeah, but once that mushroom. <laughs> so it looks like Mitch played the card. It sounded like he might have got some matches there. So it'll be interested to see what his inventory looks like. And we see uh, Glutamic Acid also getting some matches here. Uh, three of them. So we're going to get some good information on uh, what, what goodies the card has in store for us here. Let's see if he uh, decides to check it. Nah, he's going to wait. We have a heavy Morton here. Only two hits, though. And the thing is, going into these airships, our runners do know, since this is flag set one, what airship is upcoming and what power-ups they might want to take into them. Yeah, that's a good point. Knowing what airship really helps uh, when you're making your power-up selection. You know, for instance, P-Wings are really good in the World 6 airship, so we'll probably see if some of these runners have P-Wings that they'll use that item in that airship. And it looks like everyone is exiting World 2 at about the same time. Yeah, kind of what I expected. A pretty good race here. Everybody's uh, pretty close to the same skill, I would say. Um, looks like Mitch had a little trouble there at the beginning of this level. Um, kind of wishing he had a P-Wing, I think, uh, for this. He can. You know, there's potential to do this level really quickly with one of those. Let's see if anybody does it. Uh, and we see Macobra actually re remembering to do it. So he's going to save quite a bit of time here uh, in this level by uh, doing the strategy. And this in a C set does having a good knowledge of vanilla really does help. Which should, yeah, that's uh, a great point. Come as no surprise with Mitch and uh, Macobra. Japan. Yeah, I know Macobra is really good at randomizer, but he's also a pretty good um, vanilla runner as well. I think he's got like a 53-minute warp list, so uh, definitely he's going to be familiar with a lot of these levels. This fortress is, uh, however, not normal in this world. What fort for are we looking at, Axler? So this is uh, 643. So we know that we've seen now two World 6 forts that World 6 is actually going to only have one fort. Which, uh, honestly, if you're a randomizer player and you're paying attention to the fort count, that's something you really want to see because, as you know, being a randomizer player, there's a lot of potential for some pretty trolley configurations in that world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we got a flying boom boom there. So the boom booms are randomized in terms of what they decide to do on that second stomp. Some of them will fly. Um, so there's a little bit of randomization to them. You don't get to see it a lot, though, because these players are so skilled that most of the time, Boom Boom doesn't get to show off what he can do. And frankly, you rarely ever want Boom Boom to show off what he can do. <laughs> you re you're really right. He just starts going crazy. 
Ooh, we see uh, Mitch kind of clipping in the floor there, so he's not going to get P-Speed in this level. But uh, there's a nice backup here that should... Okay, he's just going to skip it. He's like, eh, I'll just take casual stroll through 3-3. Three, three, it's fine. Not, It's not too dangerous of a level. There's not too many enemies, so it's actually one of the few levels in Randomizer that you can mostly just vanilla strat. It looks like a Macroba is finishing off the end card, so we may see what he gets out of it real soon. A couple of hammer suits Clouds, and a cloud. Yeah, I think he got... A, I think something is a cloud that appears twice uh, based on that, because I don't recall anybody getting clouds otherwise, unless it was at the end of the world or something. Uh, we see the Sledge Bros giving Jam a little problem there. Um, you, you hate to see the double Sledge Bro in, in this sort of configuration. <laughs> So yeah, in World 3 here, it's one of these kind of puzzly worlds. Um, you know, as you know, uh, you're really trying to find that end pipe, and uh, it looks like a lot of the runners are skipping this fort, you know, hoping that either there's another fort in the way, or a fort won't be required uh, to get to the airship. But generally, in World 3, I've noticed that there's almost always a fort of some sort in the way. All right, we, already, we started with World 6, Fort 3 already. How... I <laughs> Oh, good. Well, we do know that there's no longer going to be, like, a lock in front of Wendy. Yep, it looks see. like that. Yeah, good point. That first fort must have either broke the lock or did something else. Um, now we see the sunken fort, which, you know, it's it's amazing how everybody can just speed strat this level. Everybody that plays randomizer, just press swim. <laughs> It really is a pretty simple fort. You just, yeah, yeah, you just push your button and you swim. Yeah, there's not much that really gets in your way there. Uh, you can, you know, mess up some of your swims and maybe take damage on a boo, but they're pretty easy to avoid, I think. So I think we know which pipe it is now. Um, mm -hmm. It's going to be this one right here. And the rest of the world will be completed. So we got basically sync here between Mitch and Macobra with Jabum right on their heels and uh, Glutamic Acid quick to follow here. So yeah, Macobra taking the lead here with some nice P speed, yeah. And we're probably going to try not to like take it windy on normally. Just because of a. Uh her fight getting more hectic as you stomp on her. Yeah, unfortunately, Jabum not having the Fire Flower uh, is going to have to stomp her, and it looks like she is a 5-hitter, but uh, doing a great job here. He did take the damage at the end, a little unfortunate, but there wasn't much he could do about it. He had to get out of the way of the ring, and she shot another ring. Uh, either way, that was a very clean fight from everyone. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, we got uh, a really good race going on here on both sides and overall. Uh, just uh, really like half a second maybe between Mitch and Macobra right now, maybe even less, uh, which is pretty crazy. World 4 is always one of those worlds that tends to have a fortress hunt, simply because you are probably going to need to build that bridge. So yeah, Macobra uh, choosing to fight the Fire Bros here, getting a star for his effort. So Mitch is going to be happy that he skipped that one. Uh, I actually guess Mitch is probably going to take the pipe um, to skip the bro fight, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And this fort... In this level. Mm -hmm. And this fortress is going to break that lock because if there was nothing else we could do. So we're going to see both World yeah. 4 Fortresses today. Yeah, so it looks like we're going to get both of them, right? Yeah, the other one will be at the end of the world here, and that's the one that's going to be the one you want, so... Sometimes World 4 is real short, sometimes World 4 is like, you're playing every stage. Yep, exactly. Yeah, this one seems to be, I don't know, fairly average length, I would say. Macobra choosing to forego the leaf power up there. 
Um, sometimes a good power up to have, particularly for damage boosting. I'm thinking in terms of like if you have to play four three or four F one, but uh, we'll see uh, what the level order ends up looking like here. So yeah, it's the fort next, and uh, we'll see what the enemy spawn is in this fort. Sometimes you get lucky and uh, can kind of vanilla strat it, but it seems like most of the time it's just not possible. And uh, getting a late piece speed there by Mitch, and uh, unfortunately taking some damage as a result, but uh, getting his mushroom right back, and uh, not too bad. It'll save some time here by going this top route. All right. What is the different... What is that, you know... Would you say the pipe route is safer but slower, or uh, do you disagree with yeah, that statement? It's, it's definitely uh, going to be slower uh, because you're doing the two pipe transitions. But um, if you're small, I mean, it's it's always good to be able to get a power up. And we see Jabum, ooh, styling on that sledge bro here. Good stuff, Jabum. Good stuff. And that's a cloud from that and from those uh, bro that was over there. Yeah, Mitch also picking up a cloud. I think everybody's picking up the cloud right now, actually. Oh, Macober getting a star, actually. So. Well, he, the, he he took out he another hand bro right before like. that, but yeah. Uh, the other, and then when the side was going to walk over to, uh, you know, say hi. So we Macobre, see uh, some power speed here. Yeah, in the uh, the World 4 airship, actually, this kind of comes from uh, SMB3 mix. Uh, this is the speed strat in the level that is essentially the World 4 airship in that game. So I um, kind of transferred that over to Randomizer since... Ooh, and Macobra taking a quick Macobra. death to Iggy. Don't you love Iggy's hitbox? Yeah, it, it's great. I haven't been... Uh, I haven't, uh, you know, been trolled by, for by it before. Oh, there's time. Don't worry. He'll come and get you. I, I mean, that was sarcasm, but... <laughs> okay, I just wanted to make sure. I was like, dang, that's impressive. You might be the only person in the history. <laughs> oh, no. I'm well aware of uh, the hitboxes of this game sometimes. Speaking of, there is Macrobra getting uh, the same hitbox treatment once again. Yeah, just classic there, and we see uh, Mitch getting some nice P-Speed here in 5-7, uh, taking some damage there off the lack of 2 at the end, but uh, he makes it through pretty quick, so probably burn some inventory here. I feel like that uh, we're becoming back to see that fortress real soon, because, yep, there's the lock, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, I think this is a good decision to come back and play it because um, it's so close by. You're really hoping this is the one, and uh, I mean, there's there's a chance it isn't because uh, well, I know, I guess, in this world, the the colored fortress used to always be the one, but uh, not always the case now, I guess. Which is, you know, a little unfortunate. I did like it, usually having that shorthand for, oh, this is a fortress I want, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that was a nice kind of like tell, but I it's a true randomizer more so, I guess, doing it this way, so. And that is the one he wants, because he doesn't get a bridge there, so um, good information, and uh, pretty quick World 5 here. It's kind of, you know, what you like to see when you load up World 5, although you don't want to see this in the route whatsoever. Mm, five three. What wonderful things will you have today? It's a pair of Goombas or is it fire nippers? <laughs> Yo, look at me. I got one FPS. Not getting a boss pass at the end. Actually, uh, pretty big there because sometimes if you do the speed strat, he'll just gulp you before you get in the pipe. And meanwhile, every other runner is in the exact same fort, so... Um, Mitch, with the slight lead here of the 5-3 level on everybody else, but everybody else is right with each other, so... Really good race going on here. And Mitch getting a marathon, standard. He's gonna be really happy right now. Uh, I mean, I, I can't believe he didn't... <laughs> Doing that to be honest. Ah. 
It's not in World 4, though, so I mean, it's a different world this time. The the World 5 marathons generally rare in vanilla. <laughs> and Roy is out here after one hit. Yeah, apparently um, Roy and Morton did not lift uh, in preparation for this event, so um, yeah, they're going to be weaklings. Looks like everybody else must have decided to cloud that level. So Mitch is going to have an extra cloud. Uh, but if you're going to choose the cloud a level, that's arguably the best level to do in this uh, flag set, honestly. I would say 6-6 six, six is a little better, but I mean, you know, we're, we're splitting hairs here. They're both good levels to cloud. 6-7 here, though, is pretty... It's not that bad, no matter what you're looking at with... Even if it has fire in it. Yeah, no, it's it's not too bad. Um, it's a little on the longer side, uh, but you're not going to see a lot of uh, deaths in this one. There just aren't many enemy spawning opportunities. I mean, there is a world... That, there is a level in World 6 that I... Every time I say it, it has fire in it, it always lags. <laughs> Would that be 6-4? How did you know? Because <laughs> it lags, period. Vanilla, randomizer, doesn't matter. 6-4 doesn't care. It's like, you're getting one FPS in this level. Have fun. It gets even better if you have like one of those enemies that's like a million sprites on the screen. Yep. Yeah, if you get like multiple fire chains, great stuff. So yeah, we see a little bit of a route divergence there. Mitch uh, doing 6-3, which is probably the harder of the two levels, I would say, just because there's a lot of one-tile jumps. However, um, probably the faster of them as well. So um, Mitch doesn't know this, but uh, we know based on what's been played already that this is the only fort in the world. And since we see the lock, um, you actually could just skip this fort and hammer and go straight to the end of the world if you had one, but... I don't think anybody has a hammer, so no hammers at sea. I, I don't think hammers exist so far. Which I'm totally okay with. More levels for us. I was going to say uh, I hope for like a forced 6-6, six, six, but we have enough uh, clouds <laughs> just to like skip that. Yeah, uh, thankfully I think everybody had two. Uh, I think the other three might be down to one, depending on uh, how their second play at the end card's gone. But um, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, we should be able to skip that one for everybody. Oof. Two two, kind of a kind of a trolley stage to be honest. It's not super hard, but you can get some really unfortunate enemies. No, no lag bloopers, which is always a plus. Yeah, absolutely. Thankfully, there's Fire Flower in that block, so even if you get them, you can just kind of take them out, like Jabum does right on cue there. And again, you know, just uh, just an assassin, Jabum. Oh, look at this man. Just carnage everywhere in his wake. The, 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 this, this poor sea life. Yeah, but just... I... He hates those sea creatures, man. He just... Doesn't want them to be, you know, in existence. So we see um, Glutamic Acid make a really smart choice here in P-Winging 6-9. Um, knowing that it is 6-9, it is a free level if you P-Wing it. You can also wall jump here, but why wall jump when you got a P-Wing? It's easier. Oh, look, it's 6-4. Ah, yes, your, your favorite. And, uh, of course, the, the standard, I'm going to take damage off screen because there's always fire chomps and fire chains there. Again, the stage, it always has fire. <laughs> always. Which is weird for an ice stage. You know, you'd think it'd at least be melted, right? Oh, no, it's on fire. It's, it's always on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe our runners are on fire because they're... They're burning through the seed pretty quick. Okay, I'm done. Oh, one thing that is not on fire is his boss bass. I mean, he, he had a fire lit under him to apparently uh, jab him there. Uh, <laughs> just bassed out of nowhere. You hate to see it. That is... 
Boss Pass has not gone hungry today. Nah, that, is that not the worst feeling when you're like making a jump and you land and all of a sudden gulp and you're like, well, what was I supposed to do? Second try though, Jabim's like, you know what, Boss Pass, I know your tricks this time, you're not gonna get me twice. It looks like uh, Cobra is just going to like zip on past, and this is actually a smart play from him. Uh, well, unfortunately, yes. the one he wanted Oof. was that hype at the start of the world that no one had the hammer to skip uh, the four fortress <laughs> and all that. Nice troll pipe, right? Nobody has a hammer, so let's put a pipe that skips the entire world if you have a hammer. Right here. And Macabre is just making use of those clouds now because once you enter worlds, they really don't have much use anymore. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, it's probably a good time to use one here, and Jabim's going to do so as well, seeing that um, you know six five is a long level and kind of one you don't want to play. Uh, we see Mitch getting a nice fire kill and Jabim with the the clip. The clip with the star, that's even tougher because you're spinning, so... That reminds me, we should be, uh, when we get there, we'll be talking about other clips. Although we're coming <laughs> up on uh, some of the more uh, interesting ones, because I skipped, like, entire <laughs> levels. Yeah, the clip world right here. <laughs> I think Jabba might have a cloud up on Macobra, maybe, since he burned two there. I'm not 100% sure on this, so... This race might actually be closer than it looks to, and it's already pretty close, so. Unfortunately, one of our levels that we can clip is sitting right there in a dead end. Yeah. And both of them are, in fact. Honestly, as, as a vanilla runner, I like playing those levels because I can get the clips. Uh, I know for a lot of people, they have horror stories, and looks like we got a double fork configuration at the end of the world here, so we're just looking for that pipe. That brings us to the promised land. And I'm going to guess it's over four here. I'm just yeah. going to throw that out there. Because, I mean, why wouldn't it require you to play the worst level in the entire vanilla game? I mean, that in the vanilla game, it's because it's an auto scroller. Yeah, yeah, fair point, fair point. And it, it, it absolutely is the worst level in the game. <laughs> no question. I, I don't even think it's that close, to be honest. Some people disagree, but I think they're wrong. <laughs> I mean, eight one is sometimes pretty bad, but not yeah. as bad as seven four. No, eight one's at least consistent, right? If you do it correctly, it'll work every time. Seven four is like we're just gonna have random enemies that get in your way, and you might, you know, take a death because there's just a spiky cheap cheap out of nowhere. And it looks like Makurba has found a promised land. Ooh, and uh, gonna have to get the Tanuki suit here. So one good thing to remember about World 7 is Fort Knox is gonna be one of the forts. And having not played it yet, um, if you have any uh, leaves or P-Wings, you should definitely use it on this level. It'll save you a significant amount of time. As we see, he's gotta wait out this P-Switch, do a couple pipe transitions, run from a really far distance, uh, Jabum entering 7-5 here. Um, not sure. I kind of missed where that was. Uh, it was on the I way to that think you have to play it. Oh, okay. So if you don't have a cloud, uh, you might have to. Okay. Mitch Power Power yeah. also entering, uh, you know, Fort Knox. Yeah, so looks like Macobra taking a lead here, and thankfully for him... Fort Knox is the fort, so not having to go out of his way here, using that final cloud. Seeing these clouds kind of come in handy here. And the uh, thing to point out is, I mean, most people, I don't mind uh, World 7 Fort 2, also known to me as the Fort of the Fire Flower. So, uh, Glutamic Acid taking a lead here, actually. Jabbing with a nice clip at the end of the level, uh, being able to use that tail at the end or at, at Fort Knox, like I mentioned, uh, actually allowed him to get ahead of Mitch here. He decided not to cloud this level, so 
I believe Mitch should have a cloud left. Uh, I anticipate that he's probably going to do so, and we're going to probably see another lead shift here. Um, but I think Glutamic Acid does have another cloud, so um, potentially in World 8 we could sh see another shift, depending on... And obviously World 8's always the great equalizer anyway, depending on how you route it. Speaking of, uh, do, you want to start, do we want to start talking about World 8 now that Macrobra is about to enter it? Absolutely. What do you think about World 8? I kind of love it. So World 8 has four fortresses. It will always have four fortresses, no matter the flag set. And in this particular one, we're going to have the fast airships, we're going to have the navy, we're going to have super tanks, and we're going to have my favorite fortress in the game, Maze Fort. <laughs> yeah, the fortresses, because there's four of them. Um, that might be your favorite fort in the game. I'm not going to lie, I don't want to play it. Because it's like <laughs> we have only one. We have only one bridge, and we might not even have to find it, depending on where that other pi the pipe on the other end of it is. That's a good point. But then we see the hands, <laughs> and we're like, okay, well, we're playing everything. <laughs> Who wants to play super tanks? The good news is this is very straightforward, so I mean, you feel kind of comfy playing it or whatever, so not big, not not too bad here, but... So Mitch actually skip. Ooh, this might be a big deal, so he doesn't know that that's the pipe. Um, so he might not go back and check here. And that could cost him. Yeah, absolutely. Taking a bit of a gamble here. I guess he must feel like he, maybe he's behind. Um, I know he will gamble if uh, he does feel like that, so. Of course, the pipe over here might just lead him there anyway. <laughs> Meanwhile, Macarbo's just going to take all three of these fortresses and just say, yep. Yeah, it's it's hard not to do this in this situation. Okay. Oh, Mitch and just, we just had to play that one stage. First one. Oh man. Okay. So Mitch with the gambling, having a perfect world eight here. Uh, the rarity. Ooh, all right, getting a little overzealous there, taking some damage, but he's got a significant lead. Uh, this should only cost him an extra, like, 33 seconds, uh, and he could get a flower here. He does not. Um, it'll be interesting to see. I guess he'll just enter the door, yeah. Now, uh, uh, top route is a little bit controversial these days, and that's just because of these fireballs. Yeah, but he's got a tail. He'll just zoom through, whatever. Um, jab him playing 8 for it. I think he's the only one that's done this, so... Um, I think Mitch is far enough ahead that he's going to probably pull out the four-way victory here, but, uh... Definitely gonna win his, uh, his match, I think, unless, you know, some real disasters happen here, but... You know, I would be shocked if the best player in the world died on, uh, Bowser, <laughs> to be honest. It looks like, uh, Macrobra is going for the clip as in lieu of, uh, chancing the hallway of Doom. And we see Bowser gone. Down the hole he goes. Get your GGs out for Mitch. Taking the first game here, just barely. Uh, his opponent is in the same level, and we've got Macobra hot on his tail, so... Uh, that, that's not a, a pun. That was totally unintentional. He did actually go on the fight with the tail. And now that he's finished... And we see, it looks like Macobra took some damage here, so it's gonna show off Bowser's hitbox as well. Let's see if um, Glutamic Acid can maintain this. Ooh, just skips out on it. So, uh, looks like he's actually gonna have a good finish here. Um, technically finishing uh, behind Mitch, unfortunately, but second in the four-way. So technically it's a loss for him, which is unfortunate, but uh, pretty good uh, seed from uh, all three of these players here, actually.
actually all four of them. Uh, once Javum realizes that he's already built the bridge, he'll make his way back. As Makara was about to enter the door and say hello to the princess. So Mitch finishes with an official SRL time of 37.25. Glutamic Acid finishes with a 38.15. And Macobra wins his uh, match with a 38-26. And Jadam is going through normal tanks. Yeah, he uh, unfortunately, I think, is a little turned around here in World 8. Not indicative of how close this race really was going into World 8. Um... You know, he's probably going to lose this one by a few minutes, but he was right on Macobra's tail here. Just casually, like, backs up from a hand stage. Yeah, you know, whatever. He's jabbing. Hands aren't going to pull him in. And he's going to find it here. This is the pipe he was looking for. Wow, okay. He hasn't played the one level he needs to play. <laughs> um, so going through this pipe, it should be the uh, first level here on the bridge. Although he might end up playing all of them. He only really needs this one stage. Yeah, don't you love it when the very first level you play is the one you need? Kind of. I would. I was wondering if Cobra was tempted at all to go uh, check. Yeah, it, it's so tempting, and um, you know, Mitch ends up doing it and kind of gambles there. So uh, ends up paying off, though. Um, that's just one of those things where, all right, we got. Uh, <laughs> okay, looks Stimpy. like was that, that Stimpy? Yeah. <laughs> All right, bud, we're going to need you to chill out. He's he's having too much fun over here, and this is serious business, all right? And yeah, just going to play the Air Force. Uh, most people would decide to do this just because, you know. You have three fortresses just not sitting level. here right in a row. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Navigating these rocky ranches really well here. Um, definitely kind of a scary stage when you're small. So yeah, let's see if he goes back and checks, having defeated the fortresses. Um, hmm. I guess oh, he's hoping won. that this is the pipe. Uh, this is not a level you want to see. Uh, doing a good job navigating these fire piranhas here. But the fire piranhas are rarely the problem. Yeah, for sure. And uh, getting some... Oh, 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 oh! Ooh, oh! What Top a 10 saves the speedrunning. What a ride. <laughs> Top 10 saves the speedrunning. <laughs> what an emotional roller coaster that... Uh, that was. Yeah, that was pretty insane. Uh, so he's gonna be <laughs> sad then. He goes right to a hand stage, the status pipe. <laughs> right there. So, yeah, as we were talking about with World 8, um, uh oh, I think he's forgotten um, which pipe leads him back there. Uh,. This is one of the problems you run into with World 8, is it can be kind of trolly. Um, and uh, if you just end up making a mistake in your routing, uh, you can very easily lose minutes, so... This spot, I feel like this level either always has an angry sun or a boss bass. I know, and we're not... or a cheap, right? And we're not seeing any of it, so... And oh, there's, there's the angry sun. sun. Okay. Where he was he, just hiding. He wasn't on the screen, right? Like, why am I... 
I didn't see him at the beginning. Am I wrong there? He was just hiding. I, I guess. I mean, you know, Barb lurks on right there. So yeah, Jebum clearing out uh, World 8 here, finding the promised land. Gonna go for uh, a nice little swag clip there. Well, actually, it saves a bit of time, actually, if you get it. Um, unfortunately, does not get the clip. Let's see if we can get a, a hammer kill here from Jabum as well. I want him to give us the clip into Bowser's room. Having some trouble with the one-up clip, the trolliest clip in uh, Mario 3 Speedrunning Entertainment. I know that sometimes it just does not want to cooperate. Ooh, no! unfortunate. Taking some damage there. So we're going to see the third old-fashioned Bowser kill here. So I think Glutamic Acid was the only one that I got to take him down with some hammers. You enjoyed that he does not have any hitbox in his lower half. Yeah, and uh, Nintendo r ran out of funding. They couldn't afford to uh, give him a hitbox in his lower half. Poor, poor Bowser. Yeah, you, you hate when Nintendo goes cheap on you. Get your GGs out for jab him. Finishing up here. Yep, get the GG's out in chat. As, uh... Jabum finishes with an official time of 45 minutes and 21 seconds. And thanks for the raid, Speed Gaming 3. So, yeah, we got our first seed out of the way... Ray, uh, I can't speak, I'm sorry. English is, is hard. Um, first seed out of the way here. Don't worry, we got a second one coming up. And this time, it's even more random. The world order is random. Uh, the levels are random. Everything's random this time. Um, but yeah, don't go too far away here. Get, get some snacks, get some drinks, but come on back to watch some more randomizer action. Welcome back, everybody, to Race 2 on Flags 2 of this fatal four-way. Um, again, it is Mitch and Glutamic Acid on one side and Jabba and Macobra on the other. Two 1v1s here, but they're all in the same... Um, I guess, group here doing the same seed. So uh, in, in terms of timing, they're all kind of racing each other, but the results overall don't matter. Mm, the results overall don't matter, correct? Apart from, uh, you know, their opponent. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So whoever gets first doesn't matter because you still got the other race going on. So um, obviously it matters for those two. <laughs> Because you want to be first. And, you know, what I'm thinking, if I'm glutamic ass and I'm like, man, you know, I got to get a win here. Uh, I lost to the guy that lost to a Hot Pocket. And uh, that's just not a good look. Uh, I don't know how you would feel about that. I mean. <laughs> you you know what I, say. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> think right now is like, I could go for a Hot Pocket right now. <laughs> and then yeah unfortunately for Jabum, um he is eliminated here had a pretty tough group so um this one for him will be fun but for macobra he definitely still wants to win this one because for seeding purposes he does want to have uh the best time and uh win loss uh, ratio possible of course we have a star as our first first power up Ooh, Mitch getting a nice clip there. Nice sequence break of this room. Gonna save him some time, so he's gonna snatch that lead away here real quick. Meanwhile, Macobra and jab him with the sink. And Glutamic Acid right there with him. 
and all they did was create a bridge, but it could be a bridge that shortens the level a bit. Depending yeah, on which point. one they go for. So, yeah, one of those pipes is going to lead them probably to a better place than the other. Not always, but probably. Very likely. Yeah, there's actually a nice little strat uh, that can be done where you take an intentional death in the Paradox Pipe, uh, which will lead you to the other side of the tower to get a uh, look at the configuration of the top section of the world. Ooh, Glutamic okay. Acid. Taking the uh, the lunch there to the Boss Bass. It's like, here, it, food delivery. I guess it is Boss Bass's lunch hour. And... It that pipe, the pipes really didn't matter either way, because they're going to have to play this fortress and that at level. Oh, hello, Fire Bros. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, interesting here that... Um, actually, you could skip a level if you go back. Well, no, you gotta play a level anyway in the lower section, yeah. so yeah, it, it doesn't matter. Same number of levels. But we get to see the Sunken Fortress here. And once again, everyone's just, you know, doing the secret speed strat to it. I wish for me, they're swimming. So yeah, it looks like... Macobra getting out of the fort slightly faster than everybody else here. I'm going to have to play these stages, so. It looks like Mitch Fowler Power has found 3 1. Yeah, I'm going to grab this uh, free power up here, so um, getting some nice P-Speed maintenance there at the top to help him uh, maintain speed through it. Meanwhile, Macover joins him here in the same level. We'll see if he goes for the same strategy, and he does. Um, ooh, get juked by the mushroom here. Unfortunate. Entering. Yeah, really, those mushrooms can get away from, from you, man. You really got to hit them on the correct side of the block. And Mitch, uh, picking up a fire flower here in the airship, so he'll be happy with that. Um, World 7 airship, so the longest of the airships in the game. Um, obviously, auto scroll removed, but it's still quite long because it's just a really long level. Mm hmm. And sometimes, it, sometimes you just jump into a pit off it. Speaking of, here, hello, Roy. Roy is uh, heavy, but two hits. Yeah, again, just Roy really weak today. Just didn't bring his A game. You know, real disappointed with his performance. Um, hoping to see a better performance from Roy in our, our later uh, matches. This Macabre is going through the airship at P-Speed. Yeah, some nice uh, maintenance there from him. And uh, meanwhile, Glutamic Acid playing the uh, matching card game, getting some matches here. So I think he's the first one that got some matches. So we'll see uh, what kind of goodies this seed brings us. I bet they're hoping for more hammers this time. Uh, meanwhile, Mitch uh, making his way here through um, one of the lost levels. I believe that was off brand 1 5. Yeah, I, I, basically. Our second world is World 6. We're not sure how many fortresses it has at the moment, but we do have we have found World 2's for it.
Yeah, pretty simple fortress. Getting a nice power up here. Nice little fire flower for him. Ooh, jab him die near the end. Yeah, you, you really hate to see it. Apologize, everybody. I'm having a little trouble switching audio for some reason. Don't know why that's happening. Mitch taking some attempts at the wall jump and gets it as Big Mario. Very good stuff here. Amazing. No, how hard is that wall jump to pull off? Uh, so you have somewhere between one to three frames. Uh, in this case, it's probably a frame perfect jump. And uh, you also have a sub pixel requirement component, which when you're big Mario, there just isn't much of a range of sub pixels that allows you to do it. So uh, getting quite a bit of luck there, too. But obviously, there's that massive skill component to it as well. And, you know, the game gives the cloud for his efforts. It's pleased. It seems to be saying, you have done well. <laughs> so yeah, we see Jabum taking a, an attempt at the fortress here. Um, Glutamic Acid also in this level. Uh, we see Macobra actually going through 6-9 normal here, which is, you know, what you kind of end up doing most of the time when you come in as Big Mario. But, uh, uh, yeah, it's... It's always nice when you get to see a wall jump happen. You don't see those too often. Ooh. Jabber just brushing his head against those spikes. And hello, 1-6. I, I see you have fire. <laughs> yeah, Mitch taking the death there. Um, he's probably going to use this item in the damage boost here. He wants to check that block and, and hope he gets a, uh, a leaf. He does not. A uh, leaf allows you to save a significant amount of time on this stage because you can fly to the end and instead he's going to have to take this carpet ride of shame, if you will. He's really happy about having to wait, by the way. You can really tell. Or how he is, uh, you know, mashing in time with the music. Javelin going for the and... uh, wall jump. Yeah, it should be significantly easier for him to get a sub-pixel here that allows him to do it. Um, I think he's having a little trouble with his timing. Oh, there he got a pixel, but he did not uh, execute the A-press, unfortunately. And this is how I just play 6-9 normally. Yep. N yep. This is something you really never see, is the inside of 6-9, except when you play Randomizer. Sometimes you don't have the P-Wing or anything else to really skip it. Yeah, or it's kind of a stage that's tough to take a death in intentionally, too, because you have to go through a pipe and, um, you know, try to fall through the stage and that sort of stuff. So Mitch uh, stopping Lemmy, beating him the old-fashioned way there. Um, Three-hitter, it looked like. Choosing to forego the uh, fire kill. And meanwhile, Macobra in another one of our lost levels here, Kind of reminds me a lot of 7-3, uh, personally. I, th I think it might be a 7-3 beta. Yeah, so I guess we um, got uh, a hammer usage from Glutamic Acid here. So, I don't know. Maybe, does he, did he have multiple hammers? Not entirely sure. Taking some damage from Lemmy there. Lemmy's a rough cupoling the fight. Uh, especially in these stages where he's kind of stuck in the bottom there. And as you can tell, you can have all sorts of fun with the shell. And uh, I didn't mean to rhyme there. I, I apologize. Oh, we have door six fort, or, you know... That fort, that fort, that may also be door three fort. Yeah, nobody going for door three, probably. Um... Maybe, maybe Jabin will do it for us. Come on, Jabin. Do it for the people. And uh, meanwhile, Jabin getting that swag there, that triple star. You hate to see it, but also, 
You love to see it. Sometimes you do need those lives, depending on how rude the seed is. Yeah, it's not too bad for him here, I think. Ooh, Mitch, I'm drawing a really ugly stage here. 7-5 is really rough. Um, so yeah, I think making the right decision there, choosing the Cloud It, uh, is a bit of a risk here. Uh, yeah, definitely was hoping for a mushroom there. Hopefully no bass. I don't see any bass, so that's good. Uh, probably going to take this pretty safe here, since he did use the Cloud. Um, gets another star here. It's going to make it through the level, so Cloud usage, uh, well worth it there, I think. Ooh, Glutamic Acid. Also, running into... Well, he ran into a Koopa this time, not a fish, so... Also going to use this Cloud, and then P-Wing, I think, also a smart decision. We'll see if he goes for the item. It looks like Makaro is not even going to even bother with the stage. He is going to take a death and P Wayne hit. Yeah, this is a smart man right here. He's like, no, no, I, I've been here before. This stage is awful. <laughs> I'm not playing it. You, you can't make me. I mean, the game can, just not this time. And he's going to actually choose to get the item here. So um, we'll see what item he's able to get and uh, how much that'll matter. Uh, obviously, if it's something like a cloud or a hammer, that can really shift things in his favor here. But since he is in the auto-scroller, if it is not, yeah, it's a leaf, I mean, it's okay inventory to have. So Jabum has an opportunity to catch up here um, if he takes a, an intentional death and uh, decides to cloud this stage. Looks like he's going to try to play it legit at least once. Yeah, and he's smartly going to grab this Koopa shell and kind of get rid of the junk here at the bottom of the... Ooh. Well, taking a death in the same spot Mitch did, unfortunately. 7-5 is one really of those stages nice. that can have a really, really nasty, persistent enemy in it. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Um, cheap Cheap, I, honestly, I'd rather probably have Boss Bass than Cheap Cheap. Cheap Cheap's really... They respawn really fast, and uh, they, they tend to get right in your way more. So, um, seems like a quick World 2, which is World 3 here. Uh, Mitch, already out of the world, just blazing through this seed. Glutamic Acid is not that far behind him, though. No, yeah, um, actually in second here, and uh, Macobra's right on his heels too, so. And we see a forward at the beginning of World 7 here. I anticipate someone's going to go right for it. Uh, generally, a lot of runners, when they see a forward like that, they'll just go right towards it. Um, Mitch choosing to skip it here. He sees one lock. Um, so he's hoping that it's only going to be the other fort that's required, if any. And, uh, unfortunately, he finds out that he's going to have to play the fort to make any progress. Locked out from either end. Or I guess he could do this island, too. Whoops. Well, I mean, I, I, was, I was partially right, you know. Jabum trying to give us a clip, and he does! So Jabum taking on the beast here and making it out, and meanwhile, Mitch justified in playing this Piranha Plant Sage, getting another cloud. That's gonna come in useful. And we got some nice pipes leading in the pipes in the same island, which is always great, and... Um, we have now found the end of the world here, and Mitch going to use his combo and go straight to the airship, equip a P-Wing, and uh, gets a pretty good airship here for uh, flight, actually. <laughs> what a way to, uh, you know, clean out a world. Right. Uh, meanwhile, Macobra choosing to play Fort Knox here, so we'll see what uh, Fort Knox does for us. And we'll see if he can get the off-screen wand grab, and he gets it. All right, nice four-second time save. 
glutamic acid also picking up this cloud, so... Um, let's see, what did Fort Knox do here? So it broke the lock at the end of the world, so... Um... Playing Fort Knox on the first island looked like the correct play here, um, but looks like glutamic acid actually skipped it as well, so... Uh, they're both in the same situation here, gonna be down a hammer. Looks like he doesn't have a cloud, he must have music boxed the Piranha Plant level. So, uh, Mitch getting a nice level advantage there. Uh, meanwhile, Mitch making his way into 3-8 here. Uh, pretty simple stage, there aren't too many enemy spawns here. Uh, doesn't get a bass or a cheap cheap, so uh, should be pretty easy for him. So yeah, that's a good point. Chat points out that the hammer saved one level, which is true, but it also saved a bunch of pipe transitions when he was already, you know, through the world, so. And, uh, yep, testing out his A button. Can confirm it works. On his way to the end of world, 6 Fort Juan here. Yeah, and, uh, we'll see... What the piranha plant gives here looks like a mushroom, so uh, definitely warranted skipping this on Mitch's part, so he doesn't know, but uh, made a good decision there, playing the other one and skipping this one. So yeah, it looks like we're going to have uh, a pretty uh, long start to World 3 here, because uh, I don't think anybody has two hammers and a lot of... Our runners here have used some clouds, so... Meanwhile, Jabba making his way into World 7, also skipping the fort. So I think... Um, Macobra the only one actually playing the fort, which ended up being the correct one. I do enjoy this 5-2. I, I do enjoy seeing Ooh. boss pass at like the very start of 5-2. I, oh man, that is the worst when you're trying to go left or right and then all of a sudden you just get galped right off the bat. Oof. I have nightmares. He haunts my dreams. Oh, Jab taking a death in the Piranha Fort here. So this fort is not actually required um, for Jabum. So unfortunately, uh, the lock that he already broke with his hammer. Um, is the one that gets broken by this one. Very unfortunate, but... Also, well, World 7 having both of its vanilla fortresses. Yeah, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? <laughs> is this even randomized? Group Sage, gr gr group Sage, one flag for last seed, everyone. <laughs> right? Um, Mitch, speeding his way through the quicksand level, one of those levels that's pretty easy to uh, speed strat through, even in randomizer. Aren't too many enemies that can trip you up in that one. And Mitch finding the pipe he needs here to the end of the world, so... Uh, meanwhile, Macobra taking out a Boom Boom, and uh, Glutamic Acid gonna be starting the first fort of this world. Or, well, he's already in it. But gonna be completing it here soon. And how many hits? Two hits for Wendy. She's a wimp. She's just not feeling it today. And Jebim has no. found a beta level. Yeah, so he's got some extra levels in his way here that the underrunners didn't play. Pretty easy beta level there. No enemies. Just swim to the top. Run to the end. So yeah, Mitch opening up a nice, I don't know, about half to three uh, quarter world lead here on Glutamic Acid. Meanwhile, um, looks like Macobra has about a full world lead on Jabim. Um, not quite. Mitch just deciding to damage boost through this level. He's got no time for being slow. 
And uh, nice job maintaining his mushroom through that section. Can be a little rough. Oh man. Ludwig giving Jabum the business here. I mean, two hits, rough. So yeah, meanwhile, in World 1 here for Mitch, this is going to be the one he needs to break that lock um, at the end of the world. So just having to play both forts here for the quickest route. Can barely see Mario here. He was wearing that dark outfit. You know, doesn't... Didn't anybody ever tell him when he was a kid you're supposed to, you know, wear light clothing when you run at night? And uh, Mitch actually playing the end card now. I don't think he's played it too much, actually. He's kind of been just speeding through. Not sure if there's much good in it. I haven't really been able to pay too much attention to that. Have you seen uh, any? Have you noticed anything? I really haven't noticed anything they've got out of the end card game. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like a couple seeds here where just the end card maybe isn't as good as it could be. Mitch taking the Sands of Shame through 8-2, which uh, is kind of just the normal route in Randomizer because you get mostly bad things in that level. <laughs> I mean, you can have cheap, you can have a persistent cheap, cheap. You can have boss fast. You have the sun. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> taking the Sands of Shame is pretty normal. Absolutely. Um. So Mitch, knowing that if he kept running through the stage, he'd actually despawn one of the Parabeetles, so he kind of does a turn back there. Interesting thing about a tail on the Parabeetles, if you tail whip while on top of it, you'll actually kill the Parabeetle and uh, fall to your doom. It is worth knowing that in 5-2, taking the top route is much, much quicker and safer than taking the bottom route. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, bottom route is really slow. You're about done with the level by the time you make it in the pipe. <laughs> the bottom bottom part, so. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Glutamic Acid and also Macobra in the Navy here. Uh, Wolfman isn't here right now, so no singing for you guys, but uh, imagine if he was here and imagine if he was singing, and then him and I were, like, doing a duet. That'd be amazing. We gotta make that happen sometime. That was a five-hit Larry. Yeah, yeah. It, that happens, you know, in everybody's dreams. Every night. I know. Meanwhile, we got Macobra clearing out an end card. We got Glutamic Acid clearing out a hammer, bro. Jabum finishing up a fort here, making his way to the end of World 3, which is World 5. And... Finds... Ugh. Mitch getting a hammer suit, so... All right, Jabum's going to be out of World 3 here. Just I don't know if Mitch like... had one, but a great item there. Oh, go ahead. It just looks it looks like Makobra is about to exit world uh one, which is six. Yeah, good point. So about a world difference between Jabum and uh Macobra here. Meanwhile, Glutamic Acid also finishing up World One, which is World Six. And uh we might be seeing Mitch actually finishing up World Seven here shortly. A uh, really good pace for this seed for Mitch right now. We may have a sub-30 minute uh, finish, depending on how kind of world aid is. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good point. Um, and not a seed that had a ton of hammers and clouds either, so... Um, really good stuff. And yeah, that is in fact the fortress he needs, so... Um, kind of blazing through here. Looks 
Looks like he's finishing up the card here. Meanwhile, uh, 4F1 being unkind to glutamic acid. Which, you know, it's pretty standard. Uh, getting a nice item there, actually, when you're small Mario, getting a star from that's pretty, uh, pretty clutch, to be honest. Uh, Macobra getting his Fire Flower right back. Worthy damage boost here, so. And yeah. we got a, th a thick Iggy, a thiggy, if you will. But, you know, he hasn't been working out that much, so he's only two hits. Yeah, what's what's up with our Koopalings? I mean, they've just been weak. I mean, I'm I mean, disappointed. Did you, that, did, did you see that Larry? That Larry I mean, was that's a fair week. point. Larry, my man Larry brought the thunder, alright? If there's one Koopaling I can always rely on, it's him. And, okay, and normally heavy... Heavy is only really a day... A, a, as a, far as Koopaling modifiers go, is only really a danger if you get caught by surprise by it. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, most people, they've dealt with them enough and can time the jumps where actually the, the big ones are what you like to see because they're easier to defeat. So we see Mitch uh, making a gamble here, not even checking the second pipe. He, he hasn't got time for pipe checks and uh, he's going to be sad. <laughs> he's going to be really sad. <laughs> he may have to play that level. Okay, no, he's just got a billion clouds, whatever. Okay, maybe, maybe not. It just cloud pass everything. It's fine. So we've seen two locks here, so we know at max there's two bridges. Um, uh, three locks, or four, or three locks, yeah, sorry, three locks. So at most there's one. But the pipe you need is probably behind, behind one, of those, one locks. of those locks. <laughs> you know? And I think this is a good choice here. This is uh, the most obvious one for him to select, so. And it is Super Tanks. Yeah, one of the faster um, fort levels in uh, Randomizer. So definitely one uh, you don't mind seeing. Meanwhile, Macobra cleaning up uh, 8 fort there. Was it prep for 8 fort? I miss what level he played, but it seemed like it was pretty quick, whatever it was. Alright, so something happened. But where and is the question? That, that is the question, it. isn't it? So now he's in fort playing mode. <laughs> So yeah, we see Macobra just going in the forts, clearing them out of the way. So and we, we have should be able to get some here, information so. here. Oh yeah, good point. Ooh, not a good situation. <laughs> Sometimes bridge for be like this. Yeah. Especially that uh, that roto disc right at the end there. I don't know for you, but for me, it always seems to be coming at you. Mm, that's interesting. So that fortress did not break a lock or do anything else. So that's probably the one we need then. And we have the one six beta level. Meanwhile, Glutamic Acid also making his way through World yep, Aid here. But Mitch, finding the one. So, again, World Aid pathing for him really good today. Um, it's really been the difference in these two races. The hammer made all the difference in the world for him. Yeah, it really did. Uh, we see Jabum burning a hammer suit there in uh, 4F1 here. Unfortunately, wasn't able to maintain it, but uh, does take out the Boom Boom. So he'll be joining them in World 8 shortly. I 
So yeah, hopefully, uh, Macobra gets... Oh, this is the beta. I, I got you beta. I thought it was 1.6. It looks like 1.6. It plays like 1.6, but it's worse. <laughs> it's a, a fair bit worse, in fact. And, and uh, what happened to Bowser? Like, I just looked, and all of a sudden he's gone. I mean, what what happened? That may be, uh, you know, uh, that may be the result of a couple of hammers to the dome piece. Mitch Flower Power finishing with an official SRL time of 3131. It's a nice uh, synergy there in the numbers. Get your GGs out for him, guys. Takes game two. Yo. And we must be joined by the man himself. What's up? Oh, not much. Uh, I saw you had uh, some pretty nice World 8s there. Yeah, dude. Really good. I had got that clutch hammer, and after doing like the scouting, I had those extra clouds, so it was nice to like cloud uh, the first level, and then it, it allowed me to rule out that entire pipe. So once I went to the dark section, and then I hit the hand section, and I saw the pipes, I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this lock, and it, it's probably gonna lead somewhere, and it did. And then I just got lucky yeah, with the, you, the fourth that I did. Yeah, because you already checked everything else you could at that point, so... Yeah, yeah, the um, last screen was the only screen left to find, and whenever, whenever I was in the dark area, I saw that there were so many fortresses, I'm like, it's probably behind this stupid tank, right? Do the, like, beat three <laughs> fortresses to break the lock. Yeah. So it was pretty good. Yeah, uh, definitely a uh, really good uh, World 8 there, and uh, I, I didn't realize how many clouds you had, and then all of a sudden you open your inventory and you're like, I have all of them. Yeah, it was what, it was when I finished the, the spade card, because I, I only ended up doing one. I think there was one hammer and two clouds in it, so it, it uh, worked out pretty Yeah, nicely. it ended up being pretty nice, actually, and I, I noticed that you weren't playing it at all, and you're still kind of just cruising through the uh, the game, and it didn't really seem to matter. The world seemed pretty quick. Yeah. You see that juicy combo I did in World 7? <laughs> I, I love those I combos. That. Hammer, so, hammer, cloud, P-wing, music box. <laughs> you're going to be overkill. sad, though. The first fort you ran into in that world was the one. <laughs> Ah, uh, dang. I was scared, right? I was like, if I do this yeah. fortress and it breaks the lock that I can see right now, like, dude, and, and me. So, I'm glad, I'm glad. But yeah, we got Macobra here finishing up um, his 1v1 in Bowser's castle. Let's see if he can uh, finish off with a nice hammer kill here. Uh, makes it to Bowser's room. This hammer kill's a little more awkward than the other one because he's on level ground, but he does a nice job of getting him there, and uh, we'll be taking the second race as well, so GG's to him. Get your GG's out, guys. And there he goes. Just waiting for the door to open. Yep. I was disappointed. I no Atlantis, no 5-9, no 7 Barely eight, any hammers. Right? Yeah, it was we had to play a lot of levels. There was no hammers. So there was um there was a we had a choice uh in the first seed. Uh it was there was 6-5, right? And then in in this one in World 2, do you remember the pyramid was uh 7-5. I, I clouded mm -hmm. over that. Yep. With the yep. small cheap yeah, cheap no way. Did. I'm mad at it. <laughs> I tried it though, right? Yeah, I gave it a shot. It. <laughs> you gave it one yeah, token yeah. shot. That was, <laughs> it was like, nope, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm out of here, man. Oh, that's so funny. Macobra saw what it was and immediately noped out. He's like, no, I'm not. Nope. <laughs> I would have, okay, I would have done it. Every, every time I enter that level, I'm like, I'll do it unless there's a, a bass or a small cheap cheap. If there's that, that's it, I'm out. Right? That's it. Other than that, the level's pretty easy. Yeah. As long as there's no 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 bosses. Is it one of those things where you're like, ah, I'm good at the game, it's fine, and then you're like, I regret everything. Oh, dude, there's nothing worse than spending like 40 seconds in a level with no clouds or power-ups and dying at the end. Oh. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Dude, what was, what was with this? Was it this seed? Like, or was it last seed? Can I get a power-up, please? 
I think I went through two worlds as small Mario just getting stars. Like, come on. Yeah. Come I think on, that Coughlin. was... Might have been this one. I saw a bunch of, like, really bad inventory at the beginning of this one. <laughs> they were just all stars, man. Yeah, it was, was like struggling. music boxes. I think we're also joined by Macobra here. What's going on, man? I'd just like to say, um, whoever imposed a ban on hammers in the Motion Kingdom, kudos, I suppose. <laughs> Right? The first seed, we were scraping for it, and then second seed, I think I got three in the second seed. Three hammers, uh, wow. Didn't you guys know that uh, Bowser raised the tariffs on uh, hammer shipments into the Mushroom Kingdom? You didn't hear about that? That was no, breaking I, news. No, after the first seed, I knew something was up, man. Yeah, the spade game gave us one hammer, I'm pretty sure, and uh, the Hammer Brother in World 4 gave a hammer, and then... There was a Hammer Brother before World 7, I know that. That's about it. I think. I don't know. Okay, I was, I was Hammer in, in Game 2 as well. I, I didn't play any Bros in World 4. I just skipped them all. Oh, there was a Cloud <laughs> and a Hammer there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Sheesh. So, um, both of you end up going 2-0 and here, and uh, I believe Woo! for both of you that uh, secures your spot in the brackets uh yeah that should secure your spot here how do you guys feel have i done have i done three races was this my third uh you've done four yeah oh wow okay well yep i feel great then Whew. yep um got secured moving on to brackets <laughs> <laughs> so what is this? What is the brackets? Is the bracket seed going to be the same throughout the entire bracket tournament? All the way until the finals? Uh, it should be, yeah. It should be the same. Um, okay, so what's unique about... Well, what's unique about that seed compared to the seed 2 here? Hammers, Hammers do locks. not break locks. Wow, so trolly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Whoa, it's so jank. Meanwhile, we got Jabim finishing up here. Absolute clip god, by the way. Jabim just clipped everything, man. Like, all he was doing was clipping. So is that is that just it? Just hammers don't break locks? Uh, yeah, it's basically flag two, I think, with hammers don't break locks. Ain't no end cards, of course. Yeah, they don't even Oh, there are no end cards, okay. I thought, yeah. Right on. Yeah, Jab, I'm finishing up here, so we're actually joined by Glutamic Acid. What's going on? Oh, he's setting up. Never mind. Never mind. He actually gave you a really good race uh, for that first race, Mitch. Actually, first everybody was really close Yeah. Um, going in the World 8. You all basically entered at the same time. It was pretty nuts. Oh, that's so cool. I nice. love when that happens. <laughs> I figured it was down to, you know, uh, <laughs> you had the hand bridge for all the forts there, and I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so Right? So I was thinking the same thing, too. Um, cause I hadn't even checked the, the pipe that led to the end. And when I got in there and I saw the three fortresses, I was like, I, I was like, do I just do all three? Like, do I just ham through all three or do I just do the first one? So that was my biggest gamble, I think in seed one. And I think that's almost what won it for me. I think the commentators can maybe confirm that. I'm not sure. Um, your routing. Yeah. was perfect, you know, in, in the first one. And that basically was the difference between you and in Macobra, world eight. Yeah. Um, I wanted to do all acid, three, yeah. right? Cause they're right there, man. The whole world opens up. If you just do all those three. Yeah. I, well, I kind of felt like, you know, we've talked about this. You must've felt like potentially you were losing, I guess. So you kind of gambled a little bit. Yep. I thought I was behind because of my death and no hammers. I was like, this, am I missing a hammer somewhere? Like where? But yeah, everyone. There was a hammer, but it was only in one of the munchers in World 7. Right? And I I even gambled on the other <laughs> muncher, though. I suck, dude. I suck. The hammer didn't help, though, because I used it, and it actually confused me into doing all, all of World 8. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah it actually that. made things worse. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, jab him. Welcome in, buddy. I saw you just clipping like a god everywhere. What, what about those clips, man? You just had them I don't know. There. I had really lucky sub pixels. Like anywhere I wanted to clip, I could just go. Apparently, like it was just it was easy. It was a complete opposite for me. I never I could nail that world eight world uh, Bowser's Castle clip. I ended up taking bottom right both times. <laughs> don't know why. Yeah. Yeah, I think for I did. Mitch too. Uh, he got the wall jump as Big Mario, but otherwise, I don't think you really got anything Six, else. Nine. 
Uh, no, the Bowser Castle clip took a while, and I lost Hammer Suit in the first seed, so it was just troll, troll Lantis. I had to play 7-5 in both games, which was pretty awkward. I like 6-5, I... not 7-5. Oh, okay. 6-5? Ugh. That's a cool <laughs> level, man. We all got set. We all clouded 7-5, right? Nope, I had to play it. Mm -hmm. What? We had a cloud, though. Was it from the Hammer Brother? I didn't have a cloud. I think, I think it was from the Hammer Brother, yeah. Yeah. Right on. So yeah, Glutamic Acid, really uh, good performance there, especially on the uh, first race. Uh, you'll probably go back and see. I mean, it was right there. It was just Mitch's decision-making in World A was really the difference between um, pretty much everybody. And, um, and yeah, pretty respectable times from everybody here too in the second one. So uh, good job, guys. Any uh, any thoughts from you? Yeah, I think the first the first seed was just a slog. Um, yeah, I also thought I was just... I felt like I'd, I'd raced pretty well. I hadn't died. Um, but then just looking at the time, I was just thinking, I must be behind. Like, it was kind of five minutes plus per world. Yeah, so... Turns out that just, there just wasn't anything available. Yeah, yeah, it was funny. You both kind of felt the same way, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I think that the main thing was just, like, the hammer, the hammer paranoia that someone kind of just could have blitzed. Uh, yeah, just, dude, like, that... That happens to everyone, honestly. The entire first seed, I was like, everyone's got six hammers and I got none, and there's three. You know what I mean? Like you just yeah, hammers yeah. control the game. Yeah, that, that first seed, I, I I pretty much play every bro, and I was still hamless. I was like, <laughs> right? Are you serious? Like, I was getting stars and music boxes, <laughs> like this garbage. The only one I skipped was was that Prano that happened to have a hammer. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. I guess that was too too little, too late anyway. Right. Yeah, so I guess the end card gave you two clouds, which was okay um, for that one. Uh, the second end card looked like it was better. Did it give you clouds and a hammer or something? Yeah, two clouds. Second and a one, second one was two clouds, yeah. Yeah, the star. Okay. Was it one cloud? Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, it's two, two clouds both times. But yeah, so we got two confirmed bracket players, Glutamic Acid. Um, you still have a chance? To make the brackets here we'll see how the rest of the game shape out in your group but you're looking pretty good and uh unfortunately for jabum it's the end of the road yeah. Um, jabum. yeah it, it happens man you had a really tough group this time around yeah, um, yeah i also came really into this players. one just a lot less prepared than i usually do the last two ones i've been able to practice my randomizers beforehand and i just didn't have it in me this time so i'm hoping to come back next time and actually have more vanilla SMB3 practice and do the randomizers and figure out how the overworlding is being played in the moment because I see that there's a lot of a lot of changes to the uh, the way that bracket two is played um, and yeah the yeah. fireballs in uh, Bowser's castle where they took away like a minute of my time each time from the hammer bro kills yeah everyone's clipping in the uh, the room before instead of doing the statue it's like the meta now right because it's so the fireballs are so <laughs> yeah, you know you how they're impressive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, any closing thoughts from you guys before um, I let everybody go here? Nope, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Sounds like it now. Oh, right. GG guys. Yeah, take it easy. Thanks for having yeah, me, guys. Yeah. Good games. Appreciate the comments. Yeah, really entertaining, guys. Streamers. Thank you. Oh, yep. Sorry. Bye. <laughs>